Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. Today on the menu we're doing a meatloaf recipe. Now there's a meatloaf and then there's a meatloaf. Full of flavor, delicious, moist, and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're calling this a Philly cheesesteak stuffed meatloaf. Very delicious, okay? Mm. Now, I have several different variations of meatloaves down below in my description box. Go check those out. They're all full of flavor and delicious. And also, I have recipes using Philly cheesesteak as flavorings for like casseroles, for sloppy joes. I made one with a dip. So good. I'll link those down below also. But today, let's focus on our Philly cheesesteak stuffed meatloaf. So I'm gonna take an onion here and a bell pepper and we're just going to slice those up and then cut those into nice pieces. And I'm gonna show you because we don't want these to melt into the meatloaf. We want these to hold their shape, okay? I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these before they even go into a meatloaf. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and get our onion peeled and sliced up. All right. Get all the skin out of the way. Okay, so I've got it peeled. What we're going to do is cut it in half. And we're just going to make slices. Okay, we got that. Now just keep in mind, these are going to melt down a little bit, okay? I'm going to show you how in just a second. Now I've got my bell pepper here and I've washed it off. We're going to cut off the four sides. What I'm doing is just cutting these into strips here. And then I'm just going to take these and just cut those in half. What I'm going to do now is get a pan and I'm going to saute these up with a little bit of butter. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and place our burner onto a medium-high heat. We're going to add one tablespoon of butter. There we go. And then a little bit of oil. About a tablespoon. Okay, we're going to heat this up. Go ahead and add our onions and peppers. I'm going to give these vegetables some salt. I sprinkle. You got to flavor everything. And some pepper. Lots of pepper. Philly cheesesteak flavors. If you can see, look at that nice color on the onions and the peppers are soft. Now they're not too soft, there's still a little bite to the peppers and the onions are going to hold their shape really well inside of that meatloaf. Let's go ahead and turn this off. We're going to let this sit for just a few minutes while we make our meatloaf mixture. Okay, I've got a large bowl here. I'm going to put almost the makings for a meatloaf into it. Now I've got two pounds of ground beef. One cup of some panko crumbs, or you can even just use some dry bread crumbs. Got two eggs. I'm going to add one tablespoon of some Worcestershire. Now the flavors are just a little bit different here. Because, you know, this is a Philly cheesesteak meatloaf here. I'm going to put in a quarter teaspoon of some black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of some salt, and then we're going to add in a little bit of garlic powder. Yeah, these are some good flavors. About a quarter of a teaspoon. Now we're going to mix this all up. Generally, when I make meatloaf or any kind of meat mixture of anything, I put on some gloves here. 
Let's go ahead and mix this all together until it's well combined. Now, as you can see, I did not put any milk in here because the onions and the peppers, and then we got something else that's going to go in also that's going to keep it nice and moist. Now, what you don't want to do is over mix. So I've got this all nice and mixed. Now, what I'm going to do is just kind of put it together here. And then we want to separate it in half here. As close to half as you can get. So I'm just going to push my way through with the meatloaf here. Now what we're going to do is bring over a pan and I'm going to lay some parchment on it to build our meatloaf. It's going to be a freeform meatloaf. Okay, so I'm going to take the biggest half. <laughs> You can figure that out. And I'm going to kind of flatten it down. And then what I'm gonna do is just form it into an oval. It's gonna be about, let's see, I think an inch thick here. Cause the other one's gonna go on top of this after we load it. That's pretty even there. What we're gonna do now is just kind of give it a center. This way it'll keep all of the goodness in like the peppers, onions. That looks really good, just like that. Okay, now I was getting my cheese ready here. This is a provolone cheese, which is very popular for Philly cheesesteaks here in the southeast. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is take a few slices. Now this is very thin cheese. I'm just going to lay it inside of our gully right there. I'm gonna put one, two, and then three. I'm going to take as many peppers and onions that I can to fill up the hole there. Just lay it on top of the cheese. Okay, we're going to take three more pieces of provolone cheese and lay it on top of the vegetables. Now you want to make sure that you don't hit them on the meat side right there. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of this and I'm just going to take it in little patties kind of here and lay it on top of the other meatloaf. And we're going to form it. What we want to do is make sure that the cheese, when it melts inside of here as it's cooking, doesn't ooze out. So we want a nice form there, especially along the sides. Now this is a two pound meatloaf, and I always make two pounders because my husband loves leftover meatloaf. Yes, I do. <laughs> so if you want to do the pound or a pound and a half, that's totally fine. You can adjust your seasonings or your egg and your breadcrumbs and do the one pounder, just half everything. All right, now what we want to do is just make sure that our meatloaf is the same size all the way around so it cooks evenly. I'm going to place this in our oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes and then when that's done I'm going to pull it out, I'm going to give it another topping and then we're going to put it back in the oven. Now I know you want to stick around and check out what that center of this meatloaf is going to look like when we cut into it. Okay, now make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. Hit that bell notification down below with that subscribe button. Don't forget my like right now, you guys, and make sure you're sharing this video. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, now about 15 minutes before the meatloaf is done, what we're going to do is pull it out just a little bit. We're going to lay some more provolone cheese across the top of it. Cook it for another 15 to 20 minutes until it's done. Okay, we got the cheese, we got those peppers and onions. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's probably so yummy. Let's plate this up mm, and give it a try. Okay guys, tell me what you think of my Philly cheesesteak meatloaf. Gosh, it looks so delicious. Those peppers and onions are just oozing out of here along with that cheese. And then we baked more cheese on the top. Here's my plate. 
I got a bite with the peppers, the onions, and the meat with the little cheese. Mmm. <laughs> that is really delicious. One hour in the oven, two pounds of ground beef, made a perfect meatloaf. Don't forget that below, I'm going to put more recipes for my other meatloaves and for Philly cheesesteak ideas. All right, make sure you share this on your social media. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Okay, I will see you on the next episode. Mm.